everybody, Prime Raptor Prime Raptor today. We're going to review on the NECA Aliens Toys R Us exclusive or NECA store exclusive Colonel Cameron figure. And this is an awesome figure. Not just because, well, it's, you know, a Aliens figure, and I pretty much love all NECA's Aliens figures now because they're, most of the time, they're great. But mostly because, well, it's James Cameron as a Marine. Like, how awesome is that? It's bas This is basically just James Cameron immortalized into a Marine. And I think it's such a funny idea. And they haven't done something like this until... Un er, they haven't done something like this since Craig Wendricks, uh, the Craig Wendricks figure in Series 2. And what are we on now? Series 12. So, as a Toys R Us exclusive, I think this is awesome. So let's get into what makes him so awesome. Let's get into his accessories. So I'm going to start off with the more bland, common accessories you get with this figure. So the first accessory you get is the pulse rifle. And of course, this is just the normal pulse rifle we get with pretty much all the aliens figures. Except for maybe a character that will come with a flamethrower or a smart gun or something else. But very basic, very nice still though. The body is of course a nice kind of olivey green. With the silver lines running through it. Looks very, very nice. You can see the clip here is also very nice. And is also painted in olive green. And then, of course, you have the front of the gun. And the back and the handle are all black. With a nice silver grenade there. Which you can see some of the paint is a bit is bleeding over a bit. But that's okay. Very, very nice. You can see the strap is nicely detailed. It looks like fabric. Looks very, very good. It's just made out of rubbery plastic. Very, very nice. You can see at the front here, the tip of the gun is silver with some nice, nice paint. And you can see it's actually a bit, actually the paint's kind of sloppy here in the front of it. Uh, minus this little front bit here, but the sides around it are kind of sloppily painted. But you can see it's got a little groove in there, so you can put one of the pulse rifle effects on there if you wanted to. So that's very nice. Very, very basic, just fits into his hand like so, just kind of fit that there, put the trigger finger in there, so take that out. Very basic, but still very nice. So that's about it for his pulse rifle. And the next accessory you get is his tiny pistol. Now, this has a specific name, but I forgot what it was. Uh, somebody did tell me what this pistol is called in the Frost figure review, but you can correct me in the comments below to what this is, because I have no idea what the name of this is. But... Anyway, it's still very nicely detailed. It's just kind of a solid black, but still very nice, very matte. You can see it's got like a silver, little little bit of silver right there. See, there's actually a hole put there, so it looks like the inside of the gun. Very, very nice. Just fits into his hand like so. Like so, and if you take this out. It also just fits into this little pouch right here, this little holster, which looks very nice. And then you can just close this over. It's a little bit hard to get this to close, but I'm not going to do it on camera because it's kind of hard to get it. But still, very, very nice, but very tiny and very basic. So that's about it for his pistol. And the next accessory you get is his motion tracker. And it is very, very nice. You can see the handle, is, or the strap, is nicely painted. It's a nice green with some nice fabric-looking fabric textures. Not textures, but fabric-looking uh, sculpt. It looks very nice. It's, of course, just a rubbery plastic, like the pulse rifle span. Or like the pulse rifle span. See here, these little straps connect to the actual motion tracker itself. And you can see the handle there. It's got a little trigger or something like that, or a little button. It can fit into either his trigger finger, like that, or his open palm, like that. Fits into either one. You can also put it around the figure's shoulder if you would like. You can see there the keypad right there, very, very nicely painted. You can see it's just kind of black and green in some areas. See here, the little monitor screen has a couple of little dots right there simulating motion. Looks very nice. You can see a mark for how close they are. The Now, I cannot tell what it says, but I think that says 5 meters. I could be, I could be wrong about that, though. Very, very nice. 
You can see some little dots right here. Very, very good looking. Really happy with this. But again, a very basic accessory that comes with every single Marine. But anyway, that's about it for his motion tracker. So the next accessory you get is his viewfinder. And I'm not quite sure what viewfinders are for. I think they're for like finding a shot that you like or something like that. But you can see it's still very nicely painted. I mean, you can see here with this little tip. It's got the two little cranks that you turn to zoom in or zoom out. You can see it's got this little silver band running through it. And then you can see there, that's where you put your eye so you can look through it. And then you've got the actual part that goes around his neck, which looks very nice. It's just a very, very thin, like, kind of plasticky rubber. Very, very nice. It's that kind of silver and black. Very good. Just fits around his neck, like so. If I can get this around his neck. Like so. Just fits around his neck. If I take that off. Very, very nice. And it's a nice accessory to have because if you see him in the photos from the filming of Aliens, you see he wears this around the set, which is really funny. And I really like this, but... That's about it for his viewfinder action. So as you saw there, the next accessory you get is his clapboard. And this is very nice. Now, of course, clapboards are just the little thing, the things that they use to signify when a take is starting and ending. But you can see it's very, very nice. And it's got some nice little detail in here. It says Project Aliens, Director James Cameron, uh, Cameraman Adrian Bibble, or is that a, no, it's a B, Biddle, uh, Slate, and then Take, and then you can see there bottom it says date kind of wish they would have put like a little 86 thing or like 1986 thing at the bottom there but that would be a little bit you know that would be a little bit a nice little detail to add in there but really i'm fine with it as long as it just says project aliens and signifies that it's you know a clapboard it's james cameron's clapboard but very very nice you can see it's got a little articulation point so i can open it close very very nicely detailed you can see it's got some nice little like screws I'm assuming in there and it's got some nice paint here for the black and white lines looks very good in the back it's just completely black very very nice and I really like this accessory so that's about it for his clapboard so for sculpt on this figure it is very nice now this of course just looks like a James Cameron a young James Cameron from 86 I think is what the sculpt is based off of but one gripe I'm gonna say off. I'm one. One gripe. I'm. Or one thing I'm gonna say right off the bat is that his face is made with that skin tone plastic that NECA uses, while his neck is painted with the flesh paint, and his wrists are painted with the flesh paint. Yet his hands are are molded in that kind of plastic that NECA uses for skin. So that's really weird. And there's pretty much a there's a pretty big contrast difference between these two. And actually, the camera makes it worse than it seems in real life. But it's just a teensy bit distracting if you notice it. But anyway, for the head sculpt, very, very nice. You can see the eyes are nicely painted. His eyebrows are nicely painted. You can see he's got like a mullet, which looks very, very nice. You can see it's actually a bit like glossy. Just a bit because you can see that little shine right there running through it. Looks very, very nice. You can see a bit of his hair coming down here. So it's very nice. You can see his beard. It's very nice painted. And you can see on his armor, it says Cameron. He's got a couple grenades right here. And he's got, I'm assuming these are ammo. I think this is ammo. I'm not quite sure. Very nice. You can see the little clips right there. And you can see on his shoulder, it says USCM. And then his sleeves are, of course, just the camo paint. And his back is very nicely painted. It's got some, just the whole camo for the armor. And you can see, oh god, I'm forgetting what his company's name is. But that's his company, that's his uh, film company's logo. I forgot what it's called. If you remember what it's called, uh, if you know what it's called, please correct me in the comments. But you can see if I remove his pack here, there's like camera. You can see there's a patch of the Pandora planet from Avatar, which I find awesome. Because it's, you know, it's like, I guess you could say, it's either, it's probably just referencing his, uh, the Avatar film, which of course was directed by James Cameron. But part of me wants to say that it's kind of acknowledging that Pandora exists in the Alien universe, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> it's just still really nice. It's a really nice Easter egg, this and this, as well as up here, you can see he's got a little Canadian flag. 
I forgot the meaning behind this, probably just because he was from Canada, but I'm not quite sure about that. You can see on his sleeve, it's very nice. I'm assuming that's like an eagle. Uh, I'm assuming that might be in reference to something, but I'm not quite sure what it is. Very nice detail on this little crotch guard here. Uh, just some, like, nice camo, and then it's just like a rubbery plastic. And you can see here's holster, it's nicely done. Very, very good. You can see there's actually a lot of glue there, but it doesn't matter because it will be facing inward. Like that. His pants are nicely done. Just camo. You can see the pockets and stuff. And then you can see for his shin guards here. They look very, very nice. More of that camo detail. His boots are nicely done with the nice little kind of lacing, lacing up and then this nice little like silver buttons. Or not silver buttons, but like, you know. You know what I mean. Um, but you can see right there, his shoes are very, very nicely done. Although if you bend his toe, you can kind of see the paint like faded away, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. It does stop paint rub and you're either going to have him with his toe against the ground like this, or you're going to have it flat like this. So really it's not that bad, but anyway, that's about it for sculpt on Corporal Cameron. So, for articulation, this is, of course, just the basic marine body, so it's nothing new. Baldrin at the head, arm can go out that far. Of course, it can move out because of the, um, the rubbery shoulder pads. You can go that far forward, or that far forward, that far backward. The arm's got, it's got a bend at the elbow as well as a swivel, a hinge at the wrist as well as a swivel at the wrist, a baldrin at the upper torso. The leg can go out that far go forward that far backward that far he's got a double jointed knee as well as a ball around the foot and a um, and a hinge at the toe so that's about it for articulation on corporal cameron so for comparisons here he is next to dutch and here he is next to david and here he is next to the neomorph and lastly here he is next to the concept warrior so Overall, I definitely recommend you get this figure. He is really great, and he's pretty. he should be pretty easy to find. I think most Toys R Us's should be getting him in now. Now, I actually pre-ordered mine from the NECA store, on, or NECA.com, but you can get yours from Toys R Us. Now, I don't think they said it was going to be a Toys R Us exclusive until, like, real later. I think until Comic-Con time, but I pre-ordered mine, of course, back in June, and I got him now. And he's a really great figure, and I definitely recommend you get him. And I definitely just recommend getting him to add him to your roster of Marines. And even if you don't want to acknowledge him as James Cameron, you can just say he's a random Marine. But you can see I have him here with a gun effect from the Military Arms Pack. And you can see I've got him here on top of, like, a dead Xenomorph. And I've got him firing into, like, this concept warrior here. I love this figure. He's great. I love the clapboard. I love his viewfinder. It's just a great figure. And I definitely recommend you pick him up. Toys R Us should be getting him in now. But anyway, please subscribe, like, comment. Thank you guys so much. Do not worry. This is not going to inhibit Prometheus Week or anything. I just got this guy and I had to review him. So please subscribe, like, comment. And uh, bye bye